What's up, Blizzard Nation? Welcome back to Strictly Business, episode 146. Feels like we've been on break. Have been on break. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Huge shout out to Edge VR Arcade and Creative Edge Productions for all things Strictly Business and Blizzard video needs. There's going to be a lot of video needs coming up this season, this upcoming season. Yes. So, happy belated Labor Day. I don't know if that's a holiday you say happy to, but hope you got Well, some... it's happy because yeah. if you're able to work, yeah. you get the day off. Yes. Well, yeah. not everybody, because there are people that do work on Labor yep. Day. Yeah. Which seems like an oxymoron, but. It is actually an oxymoron. <laughs> It's, well, it's a slow day today. Yeah, we got stuff on the table, and that's the rule. We have stuff on yep. the table, so let's talk about it just a little bit. Um, so we won an award, which we talked about on our last episode, for community relations. Yeah. And I just want to touch on this, that this plaque that we have here. So this is actually from the Pulaski Tri-County. Oh, it's a big old glare. There we go. Pulaski uh, Tri-County Fire Department. and. So this is this is something that's near and dear to us because of a couple of reasons. So the village, which is in Pulaski, that's where their offices are. We have several firefighters that are part of this Tri-County Fire Department, as well as one of our Trinks employees is part of this fire department as well. Um, sure, you get the plaque when you do a donation to a certain level, but this plaque goes beyond just that donation for us. So. Yes, it's it's giving money to the firefighters, and we've talked about how important all of the people that support our yeah. communities are, but fire departments are definitely one of those. Um, and Larry and I have a connection to the fire department because we had a building that actually had a fire um, years ago, and uh, the, the fire department was there for us and supported us in, in a very difficult time. So um, I just want to say, you know, there's the Pulaski Fire Department. Um, this has to do with their bowling tournament. So, you know, it's yeah. fun for them. But, you know, again, just wanted to point out that, you know, we are still doing things in the community and we don't do it for plaques and we don't do it for awards. We do it because it's the right thing to do. Yeah, but yeah. So, so that's that. And then this is a hat. Is a hat. So, Not Ryan. Not my hat. So I found this over the weekend, and I want to talk about that position on the field. Sure. So one of the things, um, and we this was at church. We, the uh, the priest this Sunday you have a was redhead at church. No, th I'm going to get to this in a second. Um, First communion, <laughs> promotional timeout. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ryan, I'm okay. not making light of penalty the, on the play. The church, um, but. The priest was talking about the importance of the football field. And, of course, Larry's ears perked up. <laughs> Colin's ears perked up. We were all like, where is he going with this? And he asked, who is the most important person on the field? What's I don't, you don't want me to answer that. Well, who do you think it is? <laughs> me, I don't. Me? Yeah. Who do you think the most important what player? Was my opinion? Or the most oh. important person on the field is in a football game? Um, I have no idea. I didn't even have an opinion because there's so many of them. So the the readings were about the rules of the church and where They're, the rules come down from. So the most important person on the field, because they hold the whistle, is the ref, yeah. right? So the ref can stop, stop play. a play, mm -hmm. start a play, tell you yeah. whether or not they like what you're doing. <laughs> you know, They're right. like the enforcer, if you will, of the rules. But I want to talk about this position because this is not – the red hat in our game is not somebody that is a rule person, right. but there are protocols that they have to follow, right? So yep. you, give, you give them direction as to what they have to do. The booth talks to them. Yep. They are definitely the coordinator between field and booth for our broadcast. Yes. Yeah. Would you say, or can you elaborate yeah, on no, that? Yeah, no, they do. What they do call they... as best they can on league set guidelines when promotional timeouts are supposed to happen. Um, they are the ones that basically flag the ref down to call that stoppage in play and then coordinate with the booth what the promo is as to who's calling it, if it's Mark or Nick Vetrano. Uh, 
and a little bit different when we had the playoff games too because we were actually navigating actual commercial timeouts so those had to be closer to the dot on those time windows than normal and to the exact length um so we had time for a commercial to air you that person exists in the nfl game too you just never see them They're not you don't know TV. where they are yeah, right yeah. yeah you don't know actually where they probably are. a producer calling things from the booth and then somebody calling those timeouts so yeah, yeah. So we've had some really good red hats over the years. Um, they normally are an intern. Yep. Um, so shout out to all of those. If you want to name them, you can. Can you remember all of them? Uh, Noah, Mara, Nap at one point, Tyler currently. Uh, Noah was it for a long time before he moved to the booth into the press row. Noah was the red hat during Caitlin's time, so I think I covered that era. Um. Did we ever have um, anybody stand in for just a game? Or it's uh, really Nap not has. That, Nap has. It's not really that kind of a no. position. Yeah. Uh, and then a couple of Lawrence kids that play football for Nap had uh, given it a go um, just as part of their internship over the past seasons. But, yeah, we try and consistently because you get to know the refs and you get to know how that should work we try and keep that one pretty close it's not necessarily one where we rotate through and give a bunch of opportunity yeah. to because it's important it has to, to stay consistent yeah. yeah yeah it's very important to the people that are in the tunnel because yeah. they're calling the shots um and you know you usually you know i'm trying to picture all the other arenas that we've been to have we seen the red hat on the field i don't think so do they always wear a red hat don't believe so. Don't know. But a lot of that, I mean, some of it's not as crazy as what we do either. So I don't, I mean, if you're just That's going true. to commercial we have a timeout or a out. dance team, yeah. you don't really need that person in the yeah. driver's seat so much, I guess. So Yeah, so we are unique in that we have quite a bit that happens throughout the game that keeps it going for the audience um, when there are timeouts, when there yeah. are breaks. So absolutely. Um it's unique for us. So I found this hat and it's unique because we call everything that we do on the day of a game, game day, Yeah. as in game day staff, as in game day promos, what have you. So we, we refer to our production as game day. So I thought it was appropriate and it's for whoever takes that red hat position this season Yeah. coming up. So yeah, I thought it was pretty cute. Yeah. It's cool. It's- and it's, yeah. It's something to talk about. We're again behind the scenes here. So Red Hat is truly a behind the scenes, much like you said, a producer that helps the show go on. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I don't under I, I know what the league rules are and if I had to sit there I probably could, but I've never had to do that. So You wouldn't be able to sit still in a spot <laughs> for an entire game. Yeah. Well, right there. Joke that besides signing players, I don't necessarily besides selling somebody's sponsor of an in-game promo and designing it like i i don't think i'd ever want to or could run the field that's always been someone else whether that's been joe caitlin selena like yeah 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 ben now with Cass. yeah was joe ever a red hat i don't think he ever did he kind of um no because i think that noah was still down He's in the chair noah. if caitlin ever watches these you can chime in or i can text her and find out for next episode um, but I think Noah, who is now on press row and in the booth for us, was the no the red hat forever down there. So excellent during her time. And I think Joe, when Caitlin went on leave, directly went to the field. I don't think he ever was the red yeah, hat. Okay. So, yeah. I just remember we had we had that need, and he went down there. I didn't know if he did yeah. red hat as well as. I don't think so. I could ask Joe either. He's about to have a kid. I think. It's got to be any time now. Yeah, it's it's got to be any time. Yeah, that's the reason he couldn't come to the August second game. So was staying close to home. So good for them. Yep, good for them. All right. Uh, in other news, da, 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 I can say we're still getting some ink on the contract. But I talked to him this morning. Our coach of the year, Corey Roberson, is back for next season. Awesome. So, um, we have players that are starting to commit. Commit versus signing a contract are two different things, though. Sure. So I'm sure you'll see on social media, not only Corey coming back, um, we're breaking it here. I'm hoping we can have something on social media before this. Yeah, um, as long as you tell show. me to. Yeah. Ben will get it done. <laughs> this so. um, 
show actually just be careful how you type resigned because it looks like resigned as well yeah it does it does they resigned <laughs> re-dash signed um yeah so we have players that are committing um but again until the contract is signed for next year and, and you know we go into free agency in october so there's there's a lot of stuff that um you know coaches working out and you know as it becomes yeah. evident we will definitely share that on share here. it share it on here and on social media resigned a contract with the rush that equals the new turf which that we had broke on here before that yeah. news so um i'll let sean throw an image on the screen um you'll probably see grid lines all over it depending on which one i send him that just helps us the new system's like a panel it's like a puzzle is the best way i can explain that to you fans so if we turn this sideways and this is the field when the turf goes down it basically corn on the cob or typewriter or whatever visual you want to visual you want to use from end zone to end zone in a panel based puzzle system it's not rolled up anymore so like when you see the grid lines on screen that's just how many panels it takes to build our field kind of see like how many panels go into the center logo and 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 um but we'll probably put that one up because it's neat to see it helps me i guess look at field logos in a different way too because i'm used to just throwing a six by nine decal wherever we want and now it's kind of got to line up with panels so yeah yep. and we could as we saw at the championship game we could still put a decal on yeah. it yeah. Um, but we wanted to kind of get away from doing that we'd rather yeah. have it printed on there adhesive, and even though you can spray these down and wash them unlike the other field you literally can just brush or wash them out back um to clean them if you want that's what they've told us but like i don't if we want sticky all over the new pads or over yeah. the new panels. So, yeah. 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 So we said we have a new field coming. This is the image of it, and we're excited to have it. It's not going to look very cluttered um, by any means, and uh, we're still ironing out the details. Yep. So, yeah. Yeah. So exciting. So congratulations. To all of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and thanks for sticking around for 12 years it will be for you and larry so it's a two-year contract no i mean like <laughs> getting to this point yeah. <laughs> oh yeah we're past 10 I years i don't know if we talk about your contract on air <laughs> <laughs> oh we could i don't know that there is a contract Kathy's agent is yes. working with the rest center <laughs> <laughs> no um let's talk about there i got two other things to sure. talk about uh, Lance Taylor, do you know who he is? Yeah, coach of a team that just played the Badgers, and I'm sorry that I don't know more than that. Um, so, so he's a former Blizzard player, yep. uh, actually went to Alabama, and then played for us in the 2004 time frame, so back in the AF2, and he's now the head coach of Western Michigan. And yes, um, it's funny because we, Larry and I were watching the Badger game on Friday night. Helen was at the game with Kate and yep. my mom and Tyler. And uh, they were supposed to win by like 20 some points over Western Michigan. Yeah. And he's doing a good job there. So hats off to you, Lance. You're, I'm not going to watch this, but <laughs> right. hats off to you and your Broncos. Um, definitely held the Badgers um, in check for quite a while. The Badgers did end up winning the game, but it's just another person that has had indoor experience that's playing in that outdoor yeah. game. In this case, college football. Very cool. Yeah. Um, did you know that before Ben and Nap grabbed that? Because I didn't. That had to be them, or did you prompt them to grab it? I did or, not like, prompt uh, them. I'm I gonna knew. I'm going to give a shout-out to Nap without stepping out of bounds here because he tracks that stuff. Yeah, no, he's so. all over that. He yeah. knows who's been affiliated. He's our historian. Yep. I think that's the best way to put it. Um, that's what. That's how Corey refers to him. Yeah. Now, if you need to know, <laughs> go to go to Nap because he can tell you yeah. when they played, um, You know who they got traded to, and and Lance played for Colorado Crush. Um, I think the Destroyers in Columbus and one other team while he was doing cool. the circuit. So what was the second thing? Uh the second thing is I had somebody ask me what I thought of the Wisconsin Indoor Football League. Well, I didn't even know that was a thing until right now. So shout out to them because it is a thing. Yeah. They've been around for just a few years, but um, 
they're actually playing right now. So a couple things. I love the fact that there are other football teams that are out there. I would never want to play up against the NFL season or the college season. Um, I don't know how you draw people, but they they have arenas that are smaller, so more the size of like where um oh, I'm trying to even think of where they would play to kind of give you an idea. Um the ice arena in De Pere. Oh, sure, Cornerstone. So Cornerstone, yep. smaller venues that are for indoor recreation. Okay. Um so we have a few in Green Bay, not a ton, but yeah. we have a few. Um, maybe even where we practice. Sure. So the, it's a smaller venue. Um, I, th- I would call them semi-pro, so they're a league, but I wouldn't say that they are Blizzard-related. Um, and, you know, we, we've talked about in the past these being weekend warrior kind of people yeah. where, you know, they have a full-time job, but they're just doing this kind of on the side. There's a a big distinction between a league like that and what we do in the IFL. Uh, You know, these, these are players that are true athletes. That's all they do other than maybe a side job to make some cash, but they are trying to get to the next level. So they are still true athlete, not saying that the other ones aren't athletes, but you get what I mean. It's like their full-time job to get to the next level. So um, you're going to see leagues like that all over the place. I had sent a thing to Todd saying, how many of these would you say are out there? Yeah. And usually they play right around the same time that we do because we have, we have scrimmaged against them. Yep. Um, some one that was out of Appleton. Was it out of Appleton when we yeah, did that? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Can't remember. And I don't know was. where they played either. It was not the Brown County Blackjacks. I've been on those guys for a long time. I thought it was the Door County Destroyers. I don't remember who that game was years ago at Sports Emporium. Right, so, but it was yeah. at Sports Emporium. Yeah. Again, smaller venue, but definitely something. You know, Shout out to them if they can bring fans in during the NFL and yeah. college football season. Um, but again, smaller venues. Yep. So, um, yeah, I guess... I guess that's what I have. Cool. For today. Right on. More league stuff as we move through the fall, correct? Yeah, I mean yeah. there's there's contracts that are still being worked out um you know, as far as vendors that yep. we're we're signing, we still don't know um you don't we don't have a obviously we don't have a schedule. I don't know that we have a solidified 100% which teams are um sure you know, in the league, all of that still is being worked out. There's, you know, September one date just passed. So we have a league call this week to kind of iron out some more details on the season. Cool. And uh, we'll take it from there, I guess. Got it. Do we know our first home date or we're assuming our first home date? Assuming, right. So. Yeah. So we, we can't really say anything about right. that either. Right. Um. We had talked at the championship game starting the season right around that March 15th date. Um, So that weekend would be the start of the season. So I'm sure we'll start a countdown pretty soon Yeah. (laughs) as to when that all happens. Ryan's working on, you know, all of our partners, who's coming back, what are we going to do, who's new. Uh, We do have our dates from PMI. We also know what our, along with those dates, what the theme nights are going to be. So now we're working on balls and designs and just all of that stuff. Giveaways, all that stuff, because it all comes with a crazy timeline. So Yeah, Yeah, we have to have all of that truly on order before October 1. I mean, it's usually the September 15 date is need to have it in. Um. You might be able to do it a little later if it's a later game in the season because right. you're not up against Chinese New Year. Yeah. But uh, definitely something that has to get worked on. So for all of you that are out there that are from other teams, you know, if your teams aren't working on that, they're going to be behind the eight ball. Theme nights should be something that if they haven't already started, they need to be doing now. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's definitely something that has to be um, worked on. In coaching news, though, uh, we're going to have one of our one of our favorites closer to home, yeah. and actually on our rivalry schedule, Dixie um, Dixie Wooten signed with the Fisher Freight. So, yep. congrats to him um, coming into that new team in our league. 
Uh, we've known about them now for over a year, which right. is the right way to do it. If you're a new team yeah. coming in a year ahead of time, definitely helps to, you know, get get some solid ground under you and then bringing in a powerhouse like Dixie. That's a that's a great uh yeah. a way to start out their season. Yeah, should be cool. Yeah. What else you know? Saw a movie? We did see a movie. It was just a movie. I didn't hate it like the reviews said I would. Yeah. But I wasn't like everybody go see it. So I did. I yeah. told I oh. told <laughs> I told people go see it. Why not? Um <laughs> right. So we went to see Borderlands yep. and I so Ryan and I have never been of the mindset that if Rotten Tomatoes says you should go see it, go see it. Because we did that once and it was just horrible. Yeah, like yeah. We can't remember what movie it was. Right. But um, this was one that I think, because I, I talked to Tyler about it after, because he was like, so you went to see it. What did you think? And yeah. he was <laughs> one of the people that said, I heard it's terrible. Yeah. But he's also a player of the game. So if you're, and Ryan and I have not played the game, so it didn't mean anything to us. Borderlands. Borderlands, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Um, and I think people were upset that it wasn't, it didn't pay homage to the game itself enough. Wouldn't okay. know. Wouldn't know. Yeah. So I guess we went in blind, but um, it was entertaining. Yeah. Um, it wasn't Guardians of the Galaxy, so I'll say that if that's what they were going for. Sure. I don't see there being a second one. No, I don't think so. That's a yeah. one of, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they could, but I don't, it did not do well enough at the box office to warrant a second one. Probably. It's out of the theaters already. Yeah, yeah. It's out of the theaters in Green Bay. Right. Because I was trying to explain it to my cousin over the weekend, and he's like, well, show me the trailer. And I'm like, it's not even in the theater anymore. <laughs> yeah. So we caught it right before it left. Yep. And then we have some new ones coming up um, that are going to be coming out. I think we got one this week that comes out. Yeah, I don't remember. I think it's, yeah. is it Beetlejuice? It's going to be Beetlejuice time. Can't say sure it one more time, though. Be- oh, don't say it. <laughs> that movie yes. coming out. Oh, wouldn't that be creepy? <laughs> All of a sudden, he had him come up on the screen behind us. <laughs> right. I want to watch the original first yeah. before I go see that one. So. Anyway. So we got. Oh, and Reagan, the movie Reagan oh, is yeah. coming out yeah. as well. So. Yeah, in theory, we'll see something before the next episode of Strictly and have more movies for you. There you go. Yeah. Because it's movie time of year because yeah. we're not playing. That's so <laughs> right. There's that. Right. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. That's what I got. You got any partnerships you want to talk about? Nah. Any yet. thank yous yet? Not no. yet. No. Other than PMI? Yeah. They're yeah. kind of important. Yes. <laughs> very important. So they Awesome. Know. Yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. <laughs> That's what I got. Should we hit him with it? Let's say that's what I got one more time. <laughs> I don't usually say that. <laughs> I do, but I did before and you did. Oh, didn't. okay. <laughs> then you say it, right? <laughs> oh, is that what we do? <laughs> what else you got? <laughs> so let's hit him with it. Let's hit him with it. <laughs> <laughs> so we got this whole sequence <laughs> yeah. off. That's how off we are today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hit him with it. Wait, who says <laughs> that? Sean, confirm or deny. <laughs> Oh, you okay. Say it. Should you we hit went, him? No, I did. say, should we hit him with it? <laughs> Let's hit him with it. Should we hit him with it? <laughs> Let's hit him with it. Go, Go Blizz. Blizz. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, share, and ring that notification bell to get all of our content in your inbox. 